Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today is the day for my challenge and I have picked out this uh, freestanding mirror. It's an oval wood mirror uh, on Kijiji for $20. Um, I have been looking for a mirror for my bedroom that's full length. I haven't had one for several years now and I've been really missing one but I couldn't find the perfect one. So this one the shape and the size is perfect, the color isn't, so I wanted to make it to fit my decor. So I will be redoing it with chalk paint, my favorite uh, way to redo things. And I will be using three different paints and using three different techniques for painting. I will be using uh, any Sloan's, um, well first first coat of paint will be from Rust-Oleum. Um, linen white and I will be covering the whole surface with that. Then once that dries I will be applying a watered down um, Paris Gray by Annie Sloan. I had to switch it to this tin because my other can broke. And then I will be finishing off with dry brushing French linen and then I'm applying a clear coat of wax. Uh, yeah. And then also you will need is a cup to mix your paint, painter's tape, and some brushes. So first step is the, the mirror needs a little bit of tightening, so I will be fixing it up. And then um, it needs some cleaning, so I will clean it before I start with the paint. So come along. And make sure you check out the playlist down below that I will have linked for all the participants in this challenge. Hope it, you will find lots of inspiration. So to clean it, I just used a wet rag and you want to make sure that your mirror is dry before you paint or apply the painter's tape. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Just to get into the little ovals um, and add the paint, I just uh, add the tape. I just did little pieces, and now I'm gonna start painting it. And I will be painting it with linen white, and I'm just gonna cover it up. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're layering paint, so but you want to give it a good coverage. So now I gave, um, I would say about one and a half coats of white. Uh, I let it dry. With chalk paint you don't need to wait too long to dry, probably about half an hour, 45 minutes. I had about 45 minutes. And I had mixed up my French linen with water and a ratio is one tablespoon of uh, French linen paint to three tablespoons of water. It's really up to you how watered down you want to make it. Um, if you want less paint, you water it down more. If you want more paint, you water it down less. And I put a glove on and I just have a lint-free rag that I'm going to put the paint, brush the paint on.
just so you kind of have a close-up to see what this looks like now I'm gonna let this dry before I apply the dry brushing for the last coat of dry brushing I have actually decided to mix up charcoal with uh, Paris gray just to um, create a bit of a darker gray so here is the paint I don't know if you can see it's a fairly dark gray darker gray and I am using just a dollar store brush and a paper towel so I'm gonna dip the paintbrush lightly and I'm gonna brush off most of the paint and I'm gonna dry brush it on I love the way it turned out I want to see all the different dimensions of paint I think it just made it look so nice and rustic and antique a bit of coastal farmhouse look I think anyways So if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up make sure you check out the playlist for all the other channels and until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.